Hey guys, this is Bryce. And Jared. And we're here with Nacho for the Coda Origins podcast, brought to you by the Coda Foundation. Coda Foundation. Yes, yes. <laughs> PBR. <laughs> I have a Highland chocolate milk. Ah, delicious. Skill Cliff. Five finger palm punch. I guess that's pomegranate. Blue ribbon. It's been in the fridge for a couple months. <laughs> Crisp. Crisp. This is crispy. Crisp. Okay. Uh, hopefully everything is going. Let's start with a teaser. Hopefully. <laughs> Our key grip is actually out here in front, so we have no idea if this is working. Jared, double check, please. Okay. Um, let's start with a teaser. Let's tease off of what May's adventure is going to be. Oh, yeah. This one's kind of tricky because. Mm. That's fun. It's going to be hard. You actually have to sign up for something to be able to do it, which is going to be kind of weird. Now, it's, so I'll just go ahead and throw it out right now. It's, it's a mud race, like an obstacle course race, a Spartan OCR. race. OCR. OCR. What do they call yeah. them? All kinds of yeah. different things. But, you know, race where you do a bunch of obstacles and all that kind of stuff. So obviously that's hard because a lot of them aren't actually scheduled in May. So we're going to expand the rules a little bit for this okay. one. And we're going to okay, say good. you just have to register between now, when you heard this, and the end of May. I mean, obviously May 1st, we'll release it on Instagram and all that stuff so everyone will see it. But you just have to get registered for that obstacle course race or mud run or Spartan race in between now and the end of May. So if you can get registered for it now and find one uh, in the next week or two, do it. If you see one, you can get registered and, and it's coming up in June or July, do it. It'll, it'll all count for it. Just that so you do one. You still have to post and all that stuff with your two buddies I think outside a, your household. I think a good point of contact would be Cal Cal. Yeah. Cal Cal actually helped me with all this stuff. No. He's <laughs> gonna, when I posted, he's going to post a bunch of, uh, yeah, like below, a bunch of ones mm-hmm. they can sign up for and some different things that are going yeah, on. Yeah, Cal loves one. that stuff. He, he, he might do like more than one or two or three or four. In a row, yeah. yeah he would be everyone's buddy. Yeah, he would if go they with wanted you. Him yeah. To. Yeah. We should have done the skydiving. We had 29 people. I heard <laughs> comment on it. I heard a lot of people got fooled by that April Fool's yeah, skydive post. Yeah, I don't understand how they fell for that, but okay, it was fun. Shut out, <laughs> Muster Stain. She picked it up. <laughs> Muster Whoever Stain. Muster Stain is. That is Mare- Mareya? Mareya, yeah. Mareya. She did. <laughs> nailed it. This better be a prank. I think she knew. I think she knew, but everybody else was really excited. Yeah. Um, we had a Chas, or Chas, is it Chat? He goes to our gym. Chad. And he even told us that he will. Oh, yeah. some people and do it yeah he was us. he was excited he, he's a pilot and i text him back and i was like look at the date please and, <laughs> and but uh, maybe bryce next time i mean if i was surprised how many people were receptive so yeah. that really does tell me that we can expand yeah. the limitations on this a little bit like yeah. maybe we do some swimming with sharks next yeah. time <laughs> 2022 you know, is going to be lit some of that <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah. yes be wild okay um all right, so let's go into, you know, finishing up the open, how the yes. open went. And uh, you want to start with the scaled, or do you want to go into the teams? Let's do uh, the games. Get, get the, games. Yeah. the scaled games championship of the world? Yeah, exactly. okay. the Coda Games. What date is that going to be on, Jared? The 22nd. 22nd, May. right, 20s. May 22nd. Yes. May 22nd. That's right. And then athletes were having uh, media. Media and, day. Uh, Thursday, Friday, we're going to talk to chat. We're going to have some fun pictures, I think. Some it's going to be really awesome. Interviews? Oh, interviews. We're yes. gonna have, maybe we'll have a – we'll follow some of the athletes in one of their days. We'll see if we can do, like, road to the games. And maybe the winner might be on the one of the most world-renowned podcasts. They ever. might get, get a chance to be on it. <laughs> 327 views. Oh, wow. <laughs> Second on spot, Spotify right Joe now. Rogan, be careful. <laughs> We're coming. We're coming. Okay, do you want me to tell them who it is? Yeah, I would love – yeah, Let's I go. think so. I okay. think so. So we'll go. I'm just going to go straight down. No particular order. This is not who I think is going to win or anything like that. Because um, I'm starting with Ashley Holdenville. So we know, we know she's not going to win. But now that Ashley her, Holdenville. Her been working. Yeah. <laughs> AHQ, Taryn Jackson, Iron View, Andy, HQ, Carly Stick. That's probably wrong. Yeah. Deer Creek, Courtney McComb from Tulsa, uh, Elizabeth. What's her last last name? Wrath and R- Yes, Wrath. AHQ. Stevie Josie from Native. Uh, Selena from AHQ. Shelby McGinnis from Tulsa. And Olympia Renault. Renew. 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 From Native. Kelly Vu from Norman. Uh, Lexi Fowler from Norman. And Sarah Schmersminski from HQ. Uh, Jordan Sisson from Iron View. Uh, Molly Moore. From Native and Ashley Wise from Deer Creek. What's exciting about this is everybody that's qualified from Iron View are coming down 
for the actual competition. The live event. The live, yes. live event. Are we doing anything special for them coming down besides the media day and everything? Yeah, we we actually got them a house, so they're all going to stay together. We didn't buy it. We just rented it. We, rented that, we bought a house. We rented, right now. <laughs> rented a house for a couple of days, and they're just going to have, you know. They have their own. Yeah, it's going to feel like they're actually going to the games. Yeah. The code games is something big. It's something new. Something World big. Everybody wants to be there. Uh, Jerry, why don't you tell that story about Andy Atkinson and the front squat? That she got 252 pounds for four reps. And she is was that the like story? Top 12. Oh yeah, counting males yeah. and females. Yeah, I think she might have been top 10 counting everybody. When I made the spreadsheet, I was looking at it, and, and she, she was, was really high. And I got a good story about <laughs> out of the out of the 32 yeah. athletes competing. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. pretty good. And, and it was impressive. And then what was the highest front squat we saw on the scale? We saw a 365, 365 from Roston. Roston. That was pretty awesome. I was there for that one. Yeah, and he got the depth. I had somebody message me <laughs> and say, "You better have a video of this guy because I don't." believe it so it, i sent him the video 365 on your chest it's easy to get below parallel. it's hard to stop above parallel Definitely awesome. yes so I, i'm going to take a lot of credit for that because he he grinded out 315 it looked great speedy and jared said oh you know maybe go up a little bit and i said screw a little bit let's go up 50, <laughs> 50 pounds. pounds yeah let's make it we, we only jump up 50 pounds with roston and he handled it he did it, it, it two was attempts awesome. done yeah move on and then we have bad news for the go to coda games athletes this is the last time you'll be scaled in the open. <laughs> Some of you guys Some will have to guys, move up. Yeah, not every one of them. Stay, we'll yeah. say the, the, if you're uh, not a master's athlete, yeah. you're moving up. Yeah. Master's athletes are still master's yeah. athletes. Which we have a couple, right? Yeah. I believe like we have Dave Luke and – what, who I don't else? know. That might be it. That might be it. Well, oh, he's Brad Smith. Smith. Brad Smith. Doesn't Smith. he need to register? Yeah, Has Brad, Brad Smith, Smith registered yet? Brad Smith yet. and John Connor, the Terminator. Neither one of those have signed up yet. John Connor from Ironview? No, John Connor from Tulsa. Oh, Tulsa. My God. Is he, he is the Terminator? I think so. <laughs> he should do good in this. <laughs> I think he would. He's a machine. You would think he'd be good at this. He wouldn't get tired. So how, how's the date going to go? This it's going to be just a Saturday. We're closing down the gym here, and we're, Bryce is going to make some workouts. We might piggyback some from the masters qualifier workouts we just Maybe. might make make Maybe. our own we'll have, probably have three workouts yeah. one of them might have two scores possibly two of them with yeah. two, possibly three of them with eight scores yes yeah, so, i mean you're going to do we're going to start at like eight and we're going to be done around noon so you're going to do a lot of work be in ready. a short amount yeah. of time be ready it is going to be fun though yeah. um yeah we'll get to do some stuff that you know typically doesn't come up in in scaled open type competition yeah. so this will be it'll be really cool to watch and have a good time with and then i think we have a couple sponsors that are, you're going to get some cool yeah We'll have to, we're, we're not going to call it swag we, anymore. We won't call that. We won't tell you what it is yet. We'll just yeah. make it a surprise. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Some and cool some, bags. Yeah. Okay. Let's look. Let's call out the boys now. You're in charge of the boys. What about the boys? Who You're made say it? Who, who they made are? The list. All right. We got Kevin Byrne from Norman or HQ. I don't, we Norman. Don't he's know. in Norman. Who knows? Scott Taylor from Deer Creek. Then we got Dave Luke. From HQ, Luke Johnson. Don't you forgot? You forgot the Donnie. Donnie. Oh my yeah, God. Donnie. Boy. Donnie. Uh, native. He's going to do great. Uh, then Willie, what's that last name? We're just going to call him w Willie. Balthus? Yeah. <laughs> Balthus, uh, with Kyle Smith from. Bring it, Willie. Bring it. Kyle, I'm excited to see this. Did you? I watched Norman. him do finish the Dats Open, mm. and he pretty much strict press on his clean. I don't know how much it was, but it was pretty impressive. Just, just a strict, strict press. press? Yeah, a clean. Then we got Taylor Benson. We got AR. AR. Yeah. Dakota from Iron View. Thomas Ro Robert, this is his last game. He's moving after this. We've got oh. TJ Wright from HQ. He'll be, TJ will be moving up to yeah. RX next yeah. year. Well, I hope so. <laughs> and that's it. Mikhail uh, from Norman and Brian from Iron View. It's yep. going to be a good time. We're just excited to have yeah. everybody from We're, Iron View yeah, coming down, right? Yes, we're excited. Do you Pretty think awesome. that they're going to have some type of advantage with this like lower altitude now? So I've been. Or, I, I don't. Or, or the humidity is going to get him. Like if we put the assault bikes in. I you think know we're going to do the assault slow. bikes, and we'll see if there really Probably is a difference between workout. the assault bikes from here and the assault bikes there. There's a big conspiracy theory going on. <laughs> Kevin did like 50 calories in like 28 seconds. I don't believe that. Yeah. Yeah. There's something <laughs> going on. That. We might just so, do that. Yeah. And have Kevin do it too. Yeah. Come on down, Kevin. Assault a gate. Assault yeah. gate. Yes. Something weird going on. <laughs> yeah. Some, something. Okay. okay. Is that what you have for the uh, Code of Games, Code of Games Scale yeah. Championships of the World? That's all we have. So okay. We have. 
Let's talk about how some of our teams did who are, you know, moving in now to the team qualifier, which is coming up this weekend. So they'll release oh, yeah. w- uh, the workouts on Thursday. Thursday five, at 2 o'clock. Five workouts will get released. 2 o'clock. And then you'll have – you have to have – there'll be two of them you have to turn in on Friday at 2, two of them at Saturday at 2, and then one of them on Sunday at 2. Now, this is just assuming that it's the same as the individuals. Yeah, it could be a little different. could be a little different. I think that – and I'm – you know, I have no, nothing to – back this on but I think the workouts are going to be a lot different than what you saw in the individuals I don't think you're going to see a four max front squat I don't think you're going to see the workouts be exactly the same they, what do you think they have this they asked they told them to get the pretty close to the same equipment though didn't they yeah. well but then you see some of the things the they GHDs. said was like was, yeah. was two GHDs yeah, but also two sets of rings oh. which the rings haven't been used uh-huh. they also said 30 feet of of space oh so handstand so walks. like handstand walks or maybe lunges or something mm-hmm. like that so it's a ring Back in the games. Yeah. They yeah, might yeah, toast, yeah, throw some toast and rings in there. We'll yeah, see. I'm going to say no. Yeah. Two toast rings. I'm going to say no to toast and rings. Because they're having GHDs. Um, but I'm going to say there are going to be some synchronized Let's muscle bet $5 ups. $5 toast rings. <laughs> $5 hairs. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. You, you saw it out there. Okay. <laughs> That's so a bad, bad bet, bad Nacho. Bet. Now, there's <laughs> 200, 204 teams qualified because it was the top yes. 25%. Okay. Um, and. Out of those 204 teams that have invites, I only think about 90 have actually accepted the invite to do it. That you just looked at the... Yep. And how many make it to the next round? 40 make it to the next round. I thought it was 80. 40. Oh, 40 40 from our region. 40 from North America. Yeah, okay. Yep. 40 from North America make it on. Right. Oh, no. Top. Is it 40%? 80 make it on. Yeah. Yeah, 80 make it on. That's right. 40%. So right now... And what are we ranked? ranked? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Okay, so... Uh, our highest team is Team Coda. Mm-hmm. Um, are you the team captain on that one? I, I was. Oh, I no, retire. I am. I am. That's <laughs> My, right. Oh, man. It was, you know, <laughs> rough times. 14th. I'll, I'll, I'll admit, I did kind of stack that team. You so, did. you know, that's how it goes. Um, we had Coda Ironview finished 25th. You know who they had score on their last workout out of left field? Tony to- Silva. Tony Silva. Tony Silva. Yeah. Tony Silva came in for some some cleans. What's the, no oh, big deal. The double unders? You seen that? No. He's, double unders he's, good, do, yeah. double he, under. he's a good double under. Uh, HQ is in 46. Do we had Dalen and McKenzie score there early? Yeah, and really. then our, the last week we had several uh, members score that are prominent members of HQ. Big Aaron, Big Aaron. who's deployed right now. We yeah. can't say where OPSEC. <laughs> Jacob Schneider, who's the team captain, so it was good that he scored. Yeah. Jacob did awesome. And then Lauren Roden yeah, was scored fun. on that team. Yeah, she just had a baby not long ago. Yeah, Again, like a week ago. Awesome. <laughs> forty six. Okay, so there were forty six. Coda Norman was in eighty uh, second, and uh, you know who scored on the last event? Again, coming in with a big heavy. Uh, barbell cycling, it was Brisky. Ah. John Brisky. So he was not going to go for it, and they told him to put the weight on it. And, and he, he got it? He got it. And That's then fine. every time you look at him do anything, you're like, he's not good enough. He's not going to get this one. And, and he, he handles it. Always. Grindy. Like annoying. He is grindy. He's awesome. He did so good. Um, Coda Native, uh, 95th place. We had two sc- come in and score big on that. It was Trace Ooh. and Nate Dog. Nate Dog. <laughs> Nate Dog contributing for Nat. You're welcome, yeah. Natalie. We were hoping it was going to be a handstand walk so he could contribute tribute to that but yeah. he was able to contribute too soon What's too soon <laughs> too soon it was, it was clean, clean yeah, yeah. that's awesome um and then let's see Coda Tulsa is in 201 so they, they snuck in 204, 204. Yeah. um Tommy scored oh. on 21.3 and then Big Ben Williams' son, yeah. Andrew, Andrew Williams, comes in and puts up a 276 to score from the which they needed that was He's big sneaky. time Andrew yeah good job good job so uh, with those top 80 teams moving on to a semifinal event, I mean, we have a lot of teams that are in the running for this. What would happen if, like, there's a chance of uh, teams go to different? Yeah. Ugh. See, because so it's kind of weird. Once you make it through the quarterfinals, they send you – you get to rank which quarterfinals you want to go to, your first mm-hmm. choice, second place, third choice. So, like, the, you know, the team that's in first, obviously all of them will be open, so they'll take their first choice and they'll fill it. And then oh. they'll go down second – place fill it third place fit and they'll fill them well then when it gets to you know the 38th team or 45th team they'll see your first choice if there's a spot where your first choice is you get it oh. if there's no spot they go down to your second choice so, so we could really separate all yeah. the, our gyms could go to four different places they, if we get if we get four teams in we could go to all four now some are going to be online yeah. but so if it is kind of you got to play the cards a little bit because 
if you had a team that really didn't want to see running or swimming or the worm, mm -hmm. the online one is the one to do. Because oh, yeah. then you know you won't have to do those things. Or if you have a bunch of Unless kids. Unless they might could send them to a track. Yeah. Maybe you would have to do like a 400 meter track. But uh, I can't see them sending them to a pool. That'd be hard. Yeah. You couldn't. Definitely yeah. not doing the worm. So no. where in a perfect world, let's say we have a team qualify, where will you send where, where, your team. Where like, do we I know where go. I'm going to send my team. Vegas. My team, Jacob, well, Dick Snyder, and everybody else. Vegas, you're going to the Vegas one? Uh, we're definitely going to Vegas. Midwest, I think, <laughs> is where you'd want to go. The problem with that yeah. one is it's kind of hard to get to, you know? Is that the Granite Games? Or Nashville? No, no, no. That's the Nashville one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Jacob, we're going to Vegas. Yeah, you, you could do Granite Games. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good options. And you, it kind of makes you wonder, do you see, like, where some mayhem and some of these top teams go yeah. and stay away from them? Or, or do you assume that everyone else is staying away from them and you go in there yeah. go right at them? How many yeah. people qualify per – so we make it to the semifinals. 20 teams in each semifinal. Make and it to the games? No, no, no. Uh, to the games. 20, it's 20 teams in the semifinals, okay. and then the top five make it onto uh, the games. Top five. Okay, that's good. We had a team ranked seven – 15 in the world, so I'm, this is like 14th in the world. No, 14th in North America. This I can't remember what they were in the world. Yeah, 25th. Like North exciting. America is all that matters, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, not in the world scheme of things, but yeah. for our life right now. So, <laughs> one of the cool things that's going to happen when these get released is, you know, we'll kind of all get together. The team captains will try to decide what order to do them in to be the most effective, you know. Um, and then we'll have like a demo team that's going to do them. Um, and then right after the other team, so the teams will get to watch the demo team doing them and kind of work on strategy and game planning and see where any like holdups might be in the workouts that they mm -hmm. need to prepare themselves for. Because some of these are going to be tough where you don't want to retest them. No, you want to do it be, once and be done with it. It'll be hard to retest this. Right, especially if it's one, the, one that's due, you know, Friday at 2. Like if there's a thousand pistols again. Right, uh, yep, awful. yep, <laughs> right. So let's go ahead and talk about, well. Let's, let's, let's not talk about pistols. Demo just team, yet. okay. Individual qualifier that just happened this last weekend. It's exciting. So uh, we had a lot of people competing in it. I want to talk about some of our, our big time scores. Now, in order to qualify for the semifinals as an individual in North America, you got to be the top 120 in the division. We had Kevin Schutz get 80th place, 80th, oh, secured his spot. Schultz. Schultz. Shoots, shoots, shoots. shoots. Okay. Did, did and he's watch? 34 years old. He's pretty much so a master. He's about to be a master next year. He's pretty year. much 50. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Going he's kids. Did you see him drop that he's ball? He's got 18 kids. On his back, Jared. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kevin, uh, please don't do that ever again. Trust me crazy. Yeah. Um, Colby is 124 right now. And yes. so we know a lot of team. A lot of people will go team mm -hmm. and they'll push their spot down. Um, like Colby. Like Colby. But Colby's going to push his down again because yeah. you know, he's going to go team uh, up there with our, with our stud team. Um, Casey is in 138th right now. And he has to be 120. We've got to be 120. So, so he's really 137 because Colby's going. So you yeah. could say that. He's in 137. So really 17 other guys need to either get videos denied or then go team, and then he could make it on. Mm-hmm. Which so, is, it's a high likelihood. Yeah. yeah. So don't don't give up now, Casey. I, if it, that happens, we're, I'm going to Colorado spending a couple of days with Kevin and Casey. Only if Casey makes it up. Only. Forget Kevin. Yeah. 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 Okay. Kevin is too fit for me. I can't do it. <laughs> All right. So Brian Harris, another notable entry. He have, ha, out of the five events, had four top finishes in the top 200. But. But the front squad <laughs> was, got him at uh, 1469th. Uh, he would have been like top 50. This, oh, for sure. This is how crazy it, it's just about what comes out. Like yeah. if it would have been a deadlift or a snatch or even or a, a overhead, squat. overhead squat. I saw him doing overhead squats one day and it was awesome. It's yeah. so crazy that like there's those things that, that are, you know, maybe kind of a little chink in your armor. And if they come up in the quarterfinal, you want them to come up in the open. Because yeah. if that come up open, no big deal. He'd move on to the next level. But when they come up in the qu quarterfinals, you're in trouble. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, every CrossFit movement for Nacho. Yeah. Pretty much anything. Yeah. Strength except wise. for running a mile. Run, yeah. I can run really fast. Yeah. But his front I squat was. A lot. It was not like it was 317, yeah, I think. That's, what he got. I mean, that's not a I mean, joke. No, when it's we not a joke. We first started CrossFit. That, that was, was huge. That would have won. Insane. It. Yeah. But it's so crazy that that was 1469th. And yeah. that also kind of shows how there's a big skew towards heavier lifting now yeah. than there used to be. And I think there might have been some actual girls that lifted that much over that much. This there time. was one girl who got 315 for four. Burn, yeah. Ryan. I mean, it's just coming a long way since when we first started. Long yeah, ways. Yeah, it's insane. The snatching 185 for reps and it's crazy. Yeah. Box. 
Um, yeah, that was crazy. So good that. job on those guys, individual yeah. qualifiers. We had a lot of other ones that competed that did really good in it. Super proud of everyone for trying hard. It was awesome. Yeah, those yeah. workouts were very tough. Those were tough. Those, I that Ryan was pistol here too workout and he was crazy. Everything. Crazy. So our top girl, Randall, finished the weekend, had all her scores put in, and she finished in 61st first place. Let's go, Randall. She had some good finishes at the She's end. Awesome. Great finishes at the end. Yeah, like top on. 20s on three events. Yeah. Then – they asked for reviews from all the workouts. And I think I'm going to have to take some responsibility for this. I think a lot of responsibility. Probably a lot. I, <laughs> I was under the assumption that this was like you give video evidence of you doing the workouts. You know, there's difference in the open between a video submission and just video evidence. Video evidence is like, okay, I'm at an affiliate that's a re regular CrossFit affiliate. Mm -hmm. I have a judge who has passed the judge's test. I'm putting a camera up in the corner. I'm three, two, one going. The judge is there counting every rep, telling you which ones are no reps, you know, moving you through the workout. Sometimes in the past, they've wanted video evidence. Mm -hmm. And so you just send them video evidence. Yeah. Well, they also would do video submission. Video submission would be if you were like in your garage, mm -hmm. there's no one else there with you. You measure your wall ball target. You show how much the kettlebell weighs. You show the height of your box. You put it over there. You have a clock in it they can see you in the whole screen the whole time that's yep. a video submission you submit that and then people go in and they judge your reps like we go in and judge other and people say that's yeah. a good, that are in kansas yeah. or wherever okay there was some confusion on the quarterfinals if you were giving a video submission or a video evidence yes. and apparently they want video evidence submission Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. They want video submission. They want video submission quality. So any of the teams or masters qualifiers that are coming up, you need to literally in the video measure your wall ball target. You need to show the height of your box. You need to show what every weight weighs when you put it on there. Yeah. You need to show your distance between the tape line and the rower. Because like we have some people that's gonna, that yeah. are going for it. Yeah. So they really have to video. So be ready for and, that now. And not just one camera. We need it. Like no, Brian have Harris two cameras. So this is what got was Randall. Perfect example. Her camera was going in the corner on one of those. I don't know if I, I don't we, want us to get demonetized okay. in our demonetized. YouTube. Are we monetized We're yet? Not monetized. Not yet. Well, we, in the future, we're going to get monetized <laughs> yeah. and then we'll get demonetized okay. if I say who, what company this is. But there's a prominent company yeah. that runs those apps, timer apps. And she had that going uh -huh. and it's shut off at like two minutes in. And I was her judge, didn't notice it until probably like 345. So I started another camera, gave it to Nader. Nader's films the rest of it. So when we go to send her workouts, of course she's like sweaty and dying when the yeah. video starts. So we have a video of her starting it. And then we have like two minutes off where she does some rope climbs and some pistols. And then we have another video starting where she's on the pistols. Mm. And then the video of the next 15 minutes of her doing the workout. So like obviously the work is being done. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they took away every point that she got when the, that was not on video. So those every like two rep, or three minutes? Yeah, those two minutes, every rep got taken off. So that bumped her from 61st to down to 291st, mm -hmm. which I'm going to say is a double-edged sword. One, she's obviously disappointed because it looks like she got 291st, and we all know that's not the truth. It kind of mm -hmm. looks like, which I mean happened, she got evaluated a penalty, yeah. you know, which – some people can interpret that, I guess, as trying to cheat, yeah. which is obviously not what happened in this case. Mm -hmm. But, man, I am ready for her to come out swinging yeah. in the qualifier, we'll team have, qualifier. We're going to have five cameras going. I think yeah. really, but the best example is Brian Harris. We actually witness him going the whole he time. Had, he, he had, had three cameras. 20 cameras. cameras. Yeah, he had, like yeah, a GoPro, we know how to do it. Another camera, another camera. And now I laughed at him because yeah. I was just like, what are you doing? And then yeah, it's like, yeah, you got never know. Laugh. Yeah. Yeah. But, Randall, you did awesome, so, so don't worry about it. Teams and Masters uh, online qualifiers, or Masters, whatever it's called, Five qualifier, use several cameras. Airplane mode. Airplane Be ready mode. to use, have them set up, have them running, uh, you know, have your, all your stuff ready to go so that you can turn it all on and it can film the whole thing. Lesson learned right there, baby. Oh, I just oh got an email. Hang on. This is live? This yeah. is live. <laughs> live. <laughs> Uh, so, someone just Brad signed Smith in. just signed in. Oh, he, he must have heard us. He, <laughs> he must have heard us talking about say, it. So we have one person. John Connor is the only person that hadn't signed up okay, yet. Okay, John, <laughs> look at you. Tommy, get off. a hold of him, Tommy. <laughs> okay, that was all I had on my list. Um, do we want to talk about where some of our money's gone? Yeah, we can, we can talk about 
that. So, as we know, in 2020, we donated about 38000 and then our goal this year is kind of to do the same thing, maybe a little more. We kind of taken it slower than years past. So, in the past open, we kind of just had everything set up ready. We just, like, we're rushing the owners to pick a family, like a nonprofit so mm -hmm. they can donate. This year, we're kind of taking it slow, kind of giving everybody some time to kind of get around their community ask like members hey where should we donate and everything so we we started at norman but we had some problem with the pictures uh, they're working on it right now so they donated their 500 dollars to big brothers big sisters from norman mm -hmm. at norman and they uh There's... they also donated a little more money to uh uh they raised a little more money. So it was more the, than 500. Yeah, because yeah, they we, got money from we, their own. We did a thousand, exactly $1,000. Oh, nice. And we matched up to $500. And then we donated a Kota HQ to, to Pepper's, Pepper's Ranch. Pepper's Ranch and Guthrie. And I think. Guthrie. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome nonprofit. Yeah, if you don't know what it is, God encourage everybody to go look at it. And then tomorrow or this week, we're going to donate to Kota Ironby. We're Imagine, Imagine Colorado. Uh, we don't know what that's about, but we're going to send them yeah, some money. And everything Casey said same, it was good. Yeah, $500. So and in the past... Native was... Yeah, they're going to donate to reaching our city. Oh, yeah, Bethany's in Bethany. So uh, they're going to kind of build... What does it call? It's like a fitness center. Yeah. So it's really fun. we got a really cool video coming up for that. But so in the past two months, each gym has donated almost a thousand dollars norman has donated a little more mm -hmm. uh we had some money donated from code resolution so thank you a lot taylor benson yep uh he was like i don't want to get paid i want to donate this money yeah that was so nice that was awesome that he did that uh each gym has got a top taylor we're kind of still going through all that stuff we want uh, the owners to take their sweet time and kind of pick a good place to donate so it's pretty exciting i think we're going to beat thirty-eight thousand by a lot at the moment we are like almost like Eighteen thousand, and um, I gotta check the quick for twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah well, we got the foundation, of it. and then this is uh, I need to finish some stuff. I think we're way ahead of the goal this year. So and a lot of that's because of all you guys competing yeah. in these things and participating, and, and we try to make them fun yeah. and and something that everyone's excited to do and gets a lot of buzz. But I mean, I don't think a lot of people realize like how many lives are affected yeah. just by them like doing these little fitness yeah, this competitions. Yeah, there's twenty dollars. You sign up for twenty dollars. Yeah. We have almost four, almost five hundred people. If yeah. my math's right, so that's like eighteen million dollars. <laughs> math's off. <laughs> we'll work on that math. <laughs> We gotta almost, that. almost. <laughs> That's good. I hope our accountant's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like, what's going on? But anyway, thanks a bunch, guys. Yeah. Um, we really appreciate you watching the podcast and, and following along with us. We'll do another one after uh, the qualifier for the teams and uh, uh, tell you how everything went and also lead up to the Masters qualifier. Yes. And then, of course, we'll do another one after maybe even before and after yeah. the coda game scale championship of the world yes we'll probably have yeah we might do one we might do one outside of coda kind of you know get out and mm -hmm. not help with the gyms but kind of get their names out as well yep all right guys did we figure out what our sign off was someone told me two stomps and a clap yeah two stomps and a clap that was it okay. are you ready yep all right see you later guys one two that was really bad <laughs>